each and every chameleon species that is kept in captivity, it is absolutely essential to know the climate. Where does it come from? To simulate it meaningfully in captivity. This is why we have prepared a climatic chart and husbandry hints for the majestic Yemen chameleon. While the right, simple, safe care sheets for the care for the Yemen chameleon have been distributed and are available around the globe now in 19 languages, always available in all groups of the Life with Chameleon Association and on the language-specific pages of chameleons.info. They represent the average proper care for the species. And if we go for the naturalistic chameleon culture, where the main principle is to simulate meaningfully vital and eliminate lethal natural conditions in captivity, we need to consider that average never happens. Therefore, climatic charts and care guidelines were prepared based on which the keeper is clearly guided to understand the difference between the mild rainy season and harsh dry season and can adjust the care to simulate safe way these two seasons and to see and understand the whole climatic gradients during the annual cycle and is able to simulate the whole year specifics, including adjusting meaningfully the egg incubation accordingly. These five charts available that were prepared by Peter Nekas with excellent design of Iva Zhilkova and amazing original paintings of Anastasia Shiryaeva to all belong our gratitude for it. These sheets are daily wildlife history, rainy season, daily wild life history, dry season, naturalistic captive management, rainy season, naturalistic captive management, dry season, and yearly Yemen chameleon activities. The daily wildlife history, rainy season, uh, depicts the typical daily climatic cycle of the rainy season in many environmental factors. The daily wildlife history dry season depicts the typical daily climatic cycle of the dry season in many environmental factors. Nowadays, most of the chameleons die during the season due to predation, but they are capable of hibernate or in the leaf litter, nowadays which is mostly absent, and survive this harsh season. Naturalistic captive management, rainy season, gives instruction how to adjust our care parameters to simulate the climate of this season safe way for the chameleons to thrive and eliminate extremes that can contribute to stress, discomfort, health, impact, shortened lifespan or even death. Feeding should be limited for adults not to get easy overfed while young need to get fed ad libitum to grow and reach adulthood naturally quickly. Beware that UVI levels are available as measured exposed to direct sun and the chameleon get exposed to it only in the morning hours and late afternoon when they bask and when the UVI levels do not reach their maximum, just low levels. Similarly, the basking temperatures are in the moment of basking, of course, higher than the ambient temperature, but based on my measurements, they are approximately in accordance with the maximum daytime ambient temperature in early afternoon hours. The daylight period should be simulated by white light source for the time in accordance to the photo period of the respective season. The basking and UV exposure is good to be synchronized as they might get the higher doses of UV when coming close to the heat source while basking and during the day they can get smaller UV doses while moving through the more from UV source distant parts of the cage where the UV intensity is low but beware the intensity of any light including UV is reducing with the square of the distance from the source. So in double distance it is four times slower and in four times further it is 16 times less intense. 
The fogger should be available in the nighttime hours only, and the intensity and periodicity should be adjusted based on the level of the ventilation of the cage. From full exposure for six to seven hours at night power in the case of full mesh cages to intermittent fogging in the case of low ventilation cages. Misting, if at all, should happen before the lights, especially basking lights, get on and after they get off. If a daytime misting is required or done, the basking lights should be off about an hour before and about an hour after the misting, not to increase the humidity while the temperatures are high. It means not to increase tremendously the risk of respiratory disease. Dripper can be on during any time of the day and care should be taken not to increase the air humidity during the period of its function. The basking lights are best to be on for short periods of the basking only and not on the whole day. The air movements are to be simulated according to the general logic that at daytime the airflow, the wind intensity, is generally higher than at nighttime. Naturalistic Captive Management Dry Season It gives instruction how to adjust our care parameters to simulate the climate of this season safe way for the chameleons to thrive and to eliminate extremes that can contribute to stress, discomfort, hurls impact, shortened lifespan or even death. The instructions are similar as in the case of rainy seasons. Specifics are mentioned here. So, feedings will be reduced in this season due to low temperatures. The daylight is significantly shorter than in the rainy season and accordingly the UV exposure can be dramatically less as the metabolism will in general slow down substantially, so risks of MBD are reduced to almost nil. The temperatures and humidity levels should be both reduced in this period and if even simulating the hibernation phase, no basking should be allowed. Fogging should also be less intense and shorter. Dripper is advisable to prevent discomfort from not enough hydration, but in general the fogging should saturate the reduced water needs in this season. Yearly Yemen Chameleon Activities for those who want to fully understand the annual cycles, a comprehensive chart is available based on which you can simulate the whole year accordingly. The soil temperature in the shallow strata where they lay their eggs, approximately 7 to 15 centimeters depth max, is 2 to 4 degrees higher than the ambient temperature at the daytime due to the better warmth capacity of the soil than those of the air approximately same as ambient temperature in late night. And it fluctuates during the day-night cycle, so easily a naturalistic egg incubation cycle can be designed. We have used pictograms, brilliant miniature caricature style pictograms were prepared by Anastasia Shiryaeva to depict in a light yet well understandable way the type of activity the chameleons are busy with during the circadian and annual cycles. Her artistic brilliance is only exceeded by her youthful age. She is still 17. Enjoy the charts. They are made for the good of mankind, chameleon kind and the planet Earth. Stay tuned.